I'm going to turn a page in your life and go to things that nobody has heard about. <gasps> <laughs> Do I get embarrassed now or I wait till the question? I know some things that you probably don't know I know. And of course, uh, I kind of tune in. You know, like, and so, first of all, when you were very small, I know that you wanted to be a scientist from the age of four. Yeah. And I can't even fathom that. When I was four, I wanted to be Batman and I had a teddy bear. Before you went to work, something happened. Yes, that's embarrassing. <laughs> that's why we're here, Brigitte. <laughs> And I start walking outside, and now I become one of those people in New York that you get scared of. A guy, a guy walking down the street yelling at God. And I see people walking around me. Your whole life has been synchronicity, right place at right time. How did, yeah. what, how, um, did you find me? What happened? <laughs> because all of a sudden... I was uh, in a bar one night. You were in a bar one night. <laughs> I'm going to give a, a few things for you to explain for us. Right. You had a secret lab in your basement. Okay. Okay. Um, you built a time machine that frightened your classmates. And you, and you issued radiation survival suits. Is this correct? <laughs> time machine. When I was in school, I, I was an inventor. And sometimes my inventions... You've heard the saying, it's better to, to look good than feel good. Sometimes my inventions look better than they actually worked. Uh -huh. So I, I had a gadget I put together, and it had real knobs and real dials and real vacuum tubes and a light bulb that came on. <laughs> and it had this little dial. And in my mind, if I turned that dial, we would go back in time. Mm. So I took it to school one day, and I had it under my desk. And we weren't supposed to bring things like, it's illegal to bring time machines to school. They don't like that. And we go to the uh, theater, and it has theater seats, like with the arm rest there, and I have my arm resting on it, and she had her arm on top of me with her hand on top of my hand. The show is going off, and I'm just like, usual, oh my God, it's the most amazing thing I've ever seen. And right while I'm just lost in the show, I could feel fingernails digging into my hand. And, and I... I look and she's like almost like eyes not there and she slips down onto the floor and, and I you know look at her <laughs> you know get get back in the seat okay and, and she said to me I just had an orgasm <laughs> and I said this is the show I'm investing in <laughs>